before you start analysis, you need to put some silica cotton into the filter and uh, silica gel into the reagent tube. Open the software and click leak test. Start. So you will see ear tightness test passed. Now we are going to add electrolytic solution to the cell. Press the button. The solution to the cell is around 250 milliliter. Okay, finish. Now we are we are gonna to adding solution to the electrolytic cell. First, click function and diagnostic and open the switch. Sterile, air pump, blow pump and PV1. Okay. Adding the solution to 250 milliliter. Okay. okay, then close. Okay, exit. In the packing list, we have a three standard reference code. So, at first, we need to define the standard sample. Click function, define standard sample. Click add, input the sample name and the sulfur content and uncertainty of the sample.
Okay, define standard sample. It's finished. Okay, before we start analysis, we needed to click heat up to rise up temperature and waiting for the temperature is stable at 1150 degrees Celsius. When the temperature is stable, the software will prompt you. Instrument is ready, you can start to analyze. Okay, then we are going to use standard code to calibrate the instrument. First, click add sample and input the sample lane as waste. Continue. Okay, we need to test two waste sample. Then, we need use the defined sample to calibrate the machine. It standard sample we need to test three times Okay, at the same time, you need to test the moisture content of this standard sample and input the moisture, MAD. After we adding the sample in the software, now we are going to weigh the sample by in sequence. So, first we need to weigh the sample. The sample range from 45 to 55 milligram. Normally we will weigh 50 milligram. And the sequence like that, two waste, three standard sample, each test three times. First, we put the crucible on the balance. Close the window. Click tail. Okay, then we sample. Rotate the sample water to ensure the sample is uniform mixing. Okay, close the window and record the mass. Then take the crucible out. Shake the crucible and ensure the sample is uniform spread 
in the crucible. Okay, now. After we wait the sample, we need to add in the tungsten trioxide as a catalyst. The sample, 95% of the sample was covered by the tungsten trioxide. Now we have already finished the sample analysis. Now we are going to select the sample analysis result for each standard with good repeatability. You see 1.64 for, for the first standard, uh, standard sample, the second and the third. Okay, press the keyboard control. Okay, then we really click function, click uh, select calibration. So you can see here is a calibration curve. Then we click save. We put it there. Okay, then click save. Then calibration is finished. Now we have already finished the calibration, but we need to verify the calibration curve is ineffective or effective. So we need to test another two standard sample and input the sample mass. Also we need to input the moisture. Then we, we will and start another two sample analysis. After the sample analysis finish, we will get the analysis result called AST dried total sulfur on dried basis and compare the analysis result with certificate value. If the difference is within the uncertainty, within the uncertainty, so the analysis is re meet the requirement.